This unit is one of our EX rated lift and tip units and what it can do, it clamps to 205 litre steel drums or plastic drums. It uses pneumatics so it's completely air powered so it lifts and tips using the power of air which is converted into hydraulic. So what we do first is we can wheel this forward and we can use this over centre clamp with safety pin to secure to the drum. The back of the unit here, we have a brake, we can lift the brake off, wheel it forward, put the brake back on. Then we have this over centre clamp that clamps the drum between the band. You simply connect it, keep your fingers out of the way, lock it forward, put your safety pin in, and that's nice and secure. Now the band's lined with rubber, but if this was a very slippy plastic drum, or it was wet, we may have to apply the rim clamp, which is this one on the side, which we connect to the top lip of the drum. This goes over the top of the drum, you keep it pulled up in place, and we tighten the clamp. This prevents the drum slipping, so if the band doesn't grip fully on a plastic drum, then this stops any slipping in the vertical. Now, there's another unique feature of this unit. It has load cell system for weighing the contents of the drum, or weighing the drum. And this is electric, and it's powered by an onboard battery here, which you have to remove from the unit to charge in a safe area. In this left hand arm, there's a power rotation system, so we can lift the drum and rotate it. And all the controls are done from the back of the unit here. We're now going to lift and tip the drum. The first thing we do is make sure no one's in front of this position. We pull back on the lever to lift. Now if we're going to tire off the contents, we can switch on our display box here. As soon as the meter has settled down, we can then press the tar function, which just zeroes our display. And then, let's say we want to tip out 50 litres, we can tip into a vessel, and while we're tipping we can monitor the meter at the back, and when we get to near 50 litres, we can then slowly return the drum. The tip function again is from the back, ensure no one's at the front of the unit, and we push forward on the tip lever. Again, we can monitor the tip rate on the meter. You can hear the pump running in the background, this is because it has an onboard accumulator that stores up pressurised hydraulic fluid. So as we use the pressurised hydraulic fluid, the pump will top it up, but it does take a little while to do that. So we're ready now to return. Then we can lower the drum to the floor. Disconnecting. Remove that from the drum. And then if you come in nice and close here to the front clamp assembly, we have the safety pin here, which we undo and remove from the clamp. Then we pull open the clamp. Now the tension of this clamp can be changed and we can do this that if we wanted more tension on the clamp we can rotate the handle in and as we rotate it in it will increase the tension and if we wind it out it decreases the tension. But what you're looking for is when we connect we bring this over 
we hold this pin out of the way with your left arm and then we go nice and over center and that should be a nice comfortable action with no deflection of the drum and we know we've got a nice tight grip and then we put the pin through there and over center and this locks the pin in place we're now looking at the display box for the load cell weighing system see here the EX symbol showing it's an EX unit for zone 1 use with off on button here and you can see here the scales are zeroed out we get the tar functions and all the usual functions you'd expect on a modern digital display there's a full handbook in the instructions that covers the operation of the display and if we come down now looking at the control panel so the most important one is the emergency stop for any reason we want to stop any function we push down on the emergency stop this will cancel the lift lower and rotate function to reset we turn slightly to the right and then it re-pops up again on the right hand side of the panel here we have air on and off so we can switch off the air to the unit and you should do this when the unit's not being used if it's connected to an airline if you disconnect the airline then you don't need to do this but this stops the pump running and getting premature wear of the pump assembly so to operate this must be in the on position we have the lift control here if we pull back we lift we push forward we lower to tip push forward and to return pull back if we let go all function will stop and the last one is we're looking at is the hydraulic pump reset button this resets the pump should the pump ever stall if you have to use this much if you, you know, repeatedly have to press this it's a good indication that the pump needs a service we're now looking at this is the battery pack for the unit and this is the EX rated connector Now, what we need to do is the batteries are now getting depleted we need to take this black pack out away from the units and charge it in a safe area to do that you have to connect this disconnect this cable here and to do that you press the button on the top releases it and it turns anti-clockwise to unplug and we leave that one hanging down by the unit and then we grab hold of the battery box you can put the blank on there and we can lift the box out of the unit so we take this away to the safe area we plug the charging cable into here when it's fully charged we bring it back we place it into its holder there we release the dust cap we bring up the plug now on the plug there's a little red arrow there you see a little tiny little red arrow there's a little red arrow here and it's orientated about the 11 o'clock position so you line up the arrow on the plug to the socket then we push it in slightly and turn it to the clockwise till the peg for the pin lines up hold on to the top of the battery pack push it home until the little lock lever goes down on top of the connector that's it it's now mated to the unit we can now turn on our digital display and we have a battery indicator reading on our digital display